are getting together to beautify the city of Sharon. Their latest mural is 1,600 square feet, and as First News reporter Dave Marcel explains, it means a lot more than just art. Um, I, I needed some encouragement to get back into doing my artwork. Linda Clark looks at a mural she helped paint. She's a part of the group called Random Acts of Artists. The nonprofit just finished up their latest art project in Sharon, Choose to Fly. All the artwork that the group has done has really changed a lot of things. The mural is on the south side of the Cricket Wireless store, just across the street from the Sharon Police Station. It shows 40 Sharon High School students all posing, doing their favorite hobby. Some are doing sports, others photography, and some dancing. But for Linda, the whole thing is motivation. I was attacked and stabbed in the neck by a man. Five years ago, Clark was attacked at her job at Sharon Regional by a man looking for pain medication. It left my left side partially paralyzed. I used to do a lot of really large murals like this before all of that happened. After five surgeries and four years of therapy, Linda was able to help nine other artists finish this mural. The portion she painted is a bit different from the rest. Well, I wanted something to ju juxtaposition uh, the two-dimensional with a little bit of three-dimensional on there. There's a lot of symbolism there on the steps in the mural of different paths you can take and different things you can do and it's wonderful. It just really boosts my spirits and gives me hope to go on and do more and like I say I'd love to see more of these all over town. Linda once thought she'd never be able to paint again. Now she says she wants to keep painting for many more years to come. In Sharon, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.